Good morning. Welcome back to Facebook Live with Al and Kathy. I am Kathy. And my name is Al. And what's the first thing we noticed today is you got a haircut. Woo! So I was, <laughs> I, I've been, I've been sporting a beach bum look. Yes. Um, for a couple of months now, and it's it's all because of COVID. I didn't want to go get a haircut. Okay. Well, that was my excuse. Nice. But I actually, I just wanted to let it get long. <laughs> but it was, it was ridiculous. It wasn't though. It wasn't bad. You can, you can pull it off. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like think the long so. hair look. But the haircut is very nice. We like the haircut. Uh, shout out to Supercuts. Distinguished looking. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they did it. They, they cut my hair, and I told her I just want to trim. Um, wow, that was more than a trim. Well, she said she goes. <laughs> You need more than a trim. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, she gave me a little bit more than a trim, but nice. I'm happy with it. Good. Yeah, no, it yeah. was good. Very yeah. nice. Good. I, you know, I was going to do a man bun, um, but Kathy threatened to cut it off. Always. Constantly. I don't care who you are. Um, man bun, no go. Just my opinion. I'm not crazy about that look. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you got a haircut. I was thinking about getting a Cinnabon. <laughs> Really? And that would have been tasty. Does everything really equate to food here? Constantly. Always. That's all we right. do is eat, eat, yeah. eat, eat, Please. eat. Although yesterday I didn't eat at all. Yeah, I know. You were. I had my either. second yeah. COVID shot on Monday night. And yesterday I was up against the wall. I was done. I didn't yeah. eat anything all day, which oh, is crazy for that me. That is crazy. Um, yeah. Cause usually I'm like a locust when I'm home, I'm cleaning out the fridge. So, um, so yeah, so, so I had my second shot. So now, now you're better. I'm there. I know you're getting yours next Thursday. Ne so next week, next week, June 3rd. Yeah. Whatever June 3rd. Thursday is. Yeah. So that's exciting. Well, I guess, is that really exciting? Well, it is. They give you a sticker. What am I? Two years old. It says I'm a hot shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're two years old. So am I. <laughs> I wore my sticker. I walked out of okay, that place good. with my sticker on. All right, and nice. I was so proud of myself. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So pretty exciting. All right, then. So, yeah, we'll see how I do next Thursday. So uh, You'll you'll do great. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's it's so painless. It's really, I think oh, yeah, everybody should do it. Oh, yeah, the needles don't bother me. It's the, um, I'm a little bit nervous about the, uh, the after effects. But you know what? I'll just take it day by day. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then... Did you have no. any effects after the first shot? Not really. I, you know, after the first one, I also had, like, the seasonal allergies going on. Oh, my God. They've so been I terrible. So I had that. Plus, so, I mean, I was tired. I had the head congestion, but it wasn't yeah. really... It wasn't bad. Yeah, the allergies this year have been awful. Killer. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. So... Have you washed your car? I haven't washed my car yet. No. It's covered. <laughs> I'm waiting for either some rain or something to clean something. off the pollen. I think it's going to rain Friday. Yay. Yeah, of course, right? The weekend. Memorial Day weekend, Memorial of Day course, weekend. it's going to rain. And it's going to be like in the 60s. So today it's going to be excruciatingly hot. Okay. And then by the weekend, of course, when you want it to be nice, it's going to be cold. Well, technically, 60s is not really cold, but colder. Well, yeah, I'd rather have it in the yeah. 70s. Well, yeah. For sure. But yeah, not 90s. 90s is too hot. 90s is kind of hot, yeah. but I like it. It's it's better than cold. Ugh. No, not We're the good. opposites. Yeah, I don't like hot. I yeah. can't. Yeah. But whatever. So nice. let's talk about, we finished our project quilt. We did. And we'd love to show you guys what we did. First off, let's talk about some of these fabrics here. This is the Hoffman marbled fabric. This is, um, you know, 100% cotton fabric. It's easy to quilt with. It just, it's beautiful. And we used, of course, the AccuQuilt system to cut the fabric. So hopefully you yes. can see that. So fabric. if you can check out these fabrics, they kind of really look cool. You can use them for like seascapes or like sky and stuff. They kind of look like lightning or, um, you know, water. Really kind of cool effect to this fabric. I think so, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was thinking right away, it almost looks like space, like something you'd see in outer space or something. It, yeah. it fits into so many different, um, so many has so many different elements in it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So then, of course, you want to match up your orange with your purple for, you know, upcoming Halloween. And, you know, Kathy <laughs> loves Halloween her orange. Sewing. When we were I picking do. these bolts, <laughs> I didn't pick an orange, and Kathy's like, you forgot the orange. I love orange. It's, your favorite. it's so underrepresented, the <laughs> it, orange color, it right? It's so pretty. You can do so much with it. So love we it. have the full collection still. We still we have do. plenty of it. Um, I think there's like almost 20 bolts or something. There's a lot, yeah. And look at some of these lighter ones, too, are really pretty, you know? So our camera's going a little haywire there. Hopefully that gets straightened out. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of flipped around a little bit. But um, let's, so show let's show them the finished project. Yeah. yeah. So we kind of went from like, what is that called? Gradiated? Like light I think to it's dark? Gradiated, yeah. 
I think this is, is the this way, it? right? Yeah. Yeah. So here it is, our finest uh, fi finished product. Came out really good, very out happy with it. Hopefully that's visible up on the screen. Yep, all these triangles that we cut on AccuQuilt went so quick, right? I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah. This was 640 half square triangles. Yeah. Um, and we cut it on the AccuQuilt like so painlessly, yeah. so quickly. Yeah. And everything sewed together just so beautifully. And that's a testament to the AccuQuilt system. If you don't have one yet, you need to have an AccuQuilt. If you're quilt. a quilter, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, ever since we started using it, it's made our life so much easier and it's so much quicker to cut all these blocks. Yeah. And this is pretty straightforward. We use the same block for everything. Yeah. It's um, just one block, all different colors. But we think, it, we think it came out great. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have it here on display for a we while, are. right? We're going to hang it behind the counter, I think, right? Yeah. So if you, yeah. have, if you want to take a closer look at it, come into the shop. We'll have it um, hanging behind yeah. our counter. And so we quilted it on the Q20, on the Q20 we have now, the right? The Q20, yeah. With the uh, automation, so that was really easy. I we think picked this, a nice big open pattern. What was so. it called? China Sea? No, um, I don't remember what the pattern is called, but it's big swirls. It's just really easy. Yeah, it real just easy. really cool on here, yeah. yeah. Yep. Awesome. All right, so that was our, our finished quilt. Put that down. And yes. we have a guest today. We do have a special guest today. So let's introduce Jenny into the mix. So Jenny started working here when last September. Yes. Awesome. So September she's a uh, welcome to uh, our team, right? Thank so you. She's been here since September. She's uh, uh, lots of fun. Jenny can tell a story like nobody else. Jenny's got a lot of stories. She has a lot of stories, <laughs> and, but she tells them really well. So yeah, it's always fun when Jenny's around. She uh, yeah, she has a lot of light here, so it's fun. So for those of you that haven't met Jenny. She is our um, new beginner sewing teacher, and she's been teaching um, a lot of our beginners, um, and she's got some great projects. You may have seen some of her videos. You do a pillowcase, an apron, um, boxer shorts, um, so it's a lot of fun. So if you're, if you're interested in, in a beginner sewing class, here's your girl. She's the one that's going to teach you, and it's a lot of fun. She makes it real easy. Thank you. You're welcome, Jenny. So we actually pulled up some pictures here. Let me see if I can get to this photos. Okay, I have to close this first. Oops, what did I do there? Close. Okay. Um, hopefully I'll get this working. Apple TV. There we go. Are we up on the screen yet? Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. Well, nope. We're almost yeah, there. there you go. Let me just make this real big. There we go. So who is that we're looking at? <laughs> that is me, 24 years old, 1993, in basic training. Now, is this um, an activity that you just did with your friends, like backyard <laughs> soldier? Or tell us backyard why soldier. you're wearing the uniform. <laughs> so I uh, am a musician. I've been a musician for most of my life. I'm a clarinet player, and I graduated from college with a music degree. And um, I needed a job, and I was... Uh, thinking outside the box and auditioned for the West Point Band. So they have a full-time music job where you uh, audition and if you win and, and you get accepted, you sign up and you are enlisted in the Army and you go to basic training and then your rest of your career is served uh, at, the, at West Point and playing in the band. So this was, this was the hardest part was getting through basic training in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri and they Somehow I got an action shot of me in the woods. Nice. There it is, the real deal. <laughs> Wondering what in the world I got myself into. <laughs> if you've seen our um, video that we did, um, the Stipple That video on, yeah. on YouTube or on Facebook, right. Jenny's actually a featured performer in that playing the clarinet, so that's pretty cool. So if you want to see her. And then they went and stippled it. And then <laughs> we, we right. went and they stippled went it. And stippled um, it. <laughs> but if you want to see Jenny in action, definitely check out that video because she's playing yeah. in there. So let's take a look at some of these cool pictures. So you were in the Army um, because you played in the West Point Band. Yes. How, how many years did you do that? I served for 21 years, so from 1993 to 2014. Very yes. cool. I think this picture here shows you with your clarinet. Yes, so this one is a picture of the band uh, in Carnegie Hall. We were about to perform and we were not allowed to take pictures and of course all of us take out our, our cameras and start shooting away before it was too late. <laughs> and that was a, a good shot of um, a really neat time. Very cool, and that was at Carnegie Hall. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Yes, that was fun. Let's see what else. Oh, who is this playing the trombone? So this is my husband, Harvey. We met while we were in the band at West Point. 
and he's a trombone player. He's a fabulous jazz trombone player, and there we were on vacation in Maine, and of course he needs to bring his trombone wherever he goes. And um, <laughs> he just started taking it out and playing, and I just thought I'm going to take some pictures, and that's a really fun one. He's a fabulous musician. Nice. Now, he plays um, he plays on Broadway also. Now, he was also in the West Point Band. Yes, he served 23 years, and then after that, um, he got out, and now he's a freelance musician and um, a, a music teacher. So, yeah, he plays a lot. It, of course, the pandemic's kind of slowed that down, but hopefully Broadway's coming back, and he'll pick up and and come back to it nice yeah. yeah i was in new york over the weekend and i saw signs coming september coming you know yes. they're they're I starting saw a to commercial reopen. today about moulin rouge and he's he's been in that show so that'd be oh, really nice. exciting if he yeah. could get back to work great that's awesome yeah. okay now who are these two beauties so these are my children ellie and shelby ellie is on the uh the one with the bun her hair is in a bun and she's 21 and shelby is 19 and uh, they're the best things I've ever done in my life, of Aww. course. Oh, that's sweet. And then we have this bundle of joy. Our fur baby star. <laughs> so they, cute. <laughs> you guys encouraged me to give you a picture, and there it is. Of it's course. like a loaf of bread. <laughs> a cute little fuzzy loaf, loaf of bread. Of bread. <laughs> that looks like a pretty big loaf of bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aw, that's yeah. cool. cute. So now we're gonna, I think we're going to get into how you... I started quilting, and um, so our next picture, I think, is of your, of a quilt. Tell us about this quilt, and then tell us a little bit how you started quilting. What got you into it? Well, I grew up with my mother sewing everything, and but I never sewed. I just watched her. I was a musician. I was doing music and, and just not interested. But um, around 2018, when my children didn't need me anymore, and I was kind of oh, like off, always need I you. was off for the <laughs> summer and looking for something to do, I decided I'm going to start sewing. So I bought a, a little, uh, just a cheap Walmart uh, sewing machine and found my local quilt shop, which is in Cornwall, called Hudson Valley Quilt and Sew. And um, Annette, the owner, was offering sewing lessons and quilting lessons. And so I went in with my little sewing machine and started taking some lessons. And that's one of the first things I did, which looks easy to me now, but at the time was a huge deal to, to make such a big, neat project. And it was for my daughter. And, um, and that's how I all got started. And I just got hooked right away. I just knew this was really fun for me. I love doing it. And I want to do more of it. And then you made your way into our shop, and you got yourself a real machine. I did. I wandered in with my, <laughs> my bad little sewing machine, and because I, I knew after a year of sewing on that, I know there's better out there. And, and I heard about this place, and I went, came in with my sewing machine and did a trade. And that was nice. it all. <laughs> the rest is history, then, as they say. Yes, right? yes. Nice. So once I found this place, you couldn't keep me away. Yeah. That's awesome. So, so was this your first project? This was one of the very first projects I ever did, yes. Nice. And then this one was kind of like maybe two two projects later. This is a quilt. Uh, they call what they call that a daisy chain, and I made that for my husband's mother. She's in a nursing home in West Virginia, and I had it quilted with hearts because I love her. And and uh, it was a gift I gave her, and I was very proud of that one. It was, yeah, it was nice nice to give these things. And Beautiful, yeah, yeah, very nice. And then this one was another one that I I made for another wonderful family friend. And uh, my husband was like, don't give this one away. This is a good one. But uh, we, I, put it on there. I put it on there to show a, the, a nice picture of it. But that's for another wonderful family friend of ours. And um, one of the ones I'm really proud of, one of the biggest ones I've ever done. Nice. So, and all my fabric came from the Hudson Valley Quilt and, show, Quilt and Sew Shop because uh, I love supporting my local fabric shop and, um, you know, and just uh, buying local nice love it we'd love to hear that right yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah so yeah so we'd love you to support our shop yes. um, by coming in and buying your sewing <laughs> machine from us <laughs> That's we'll, right. we'll teach you how to use it actually jenny will teach you how to jenny use it. will teach you how to use that's right jenny does her owner's classes too so when you buy a new sewing machine from us you are going to be taking your owner's class with jenny yeah she does a great job she does, and uh, you learn an awful lot. You learn what, what all the buttons do. And, you know, some people are a little bit timid about new sewing machines because they have more options than the older machines from years past. But Jenny's an expert on them, and she can go through all the buttons, show you what everything does, and really how much more they do than the older sewing machines. 
And that's right. Every everything I've learned, I've learned from the best, which is right here in this room with me. And um, sewing is learning. And I, I, what I learned, I can I can teach, and and I try to make it easy and understandable, so that you're not afraid of your machine. So that when you when you buy your machine, you want to use your machine. A lot of people keep it in the box; they never use it. They're too afraid. But that's what we're for. We give you that education, and we give you that support, so that you can be successful. Nice. And join us, and be more successful with that's sewing. Right. Thanks to yeah. people like Jenny and, of course, Kathy and Ron and Diane yep. and the full staff here. We love to teach and we love to show you new things um, and how to get the best out of your machine. Um, so if you haven't come to Above and Beyond, please do so, and we'd, uh, we'd love to see you. I think that was the last picture, right? Yes, yeah. it was. Okay, so Jenny, I have a question for you. Um, of all the machines here, what would be your favorite? Oh my gosh, that's I know too it's hard. a hard question. Because like, <laughs> if a kid likes candy things. and they yeah. work in a candy store, how do they decide? <laughs> I love them all, but well, I love the Solaris, but I, I recently I, I purchased a Bernina 790 and I'm really loving it for the stitch quality and the beautiful way it embroiders and um, just the solidness of it. So I suppose right now I'm in a 790 mode, but it could change because nice. <laughs> I get to use them all. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, no, you made an excellent selection with the Bernina 790. It's really a remarkable machine. Um, sews beautifully. It's got the dual feed system. It's mm -hmm. really just an amazing and machine. And it has that BSR. Yes. So, yeah, that's a really cool tool. Also, if you're into um, quilting on your home machine, that really uh, is a great tool, the BSR. It is. So I'd like to say thank you so much, Jenny, for joining us. Yes. Thank you, um, thank you Kathy, for, yeah, for hosting today. Yeah, well, and and um, you. Yeah, and uh, we will be back. So tell us when we're coming back because I've already lost the thread. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we have a couple of weeks off um, uh, just because of scheduling uh, conflicts. So we are actually going to be back with Facebook Live on Wednesday, June 23rd. And then we have one more session after that on the 30th. And then we're going to be off for the summer. And we're going to resume with some kind of Facebook Live. Not sure if we're going to continue this format, right? But in September, we'll be back. So we're going <coughs> to, excuse me, take the summer off. We'll be back June 23rd and 30th. And then we'll be back in September. And we have two um, special guests for both of those, right? We do. Yeah, yep, we have outside guests come. Well, I don't know if they're going to actually come or we're going to record or I don't know what we're doing, but I'm we do sure. have um, outside guests coming for our, our last two interviews. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to be talking about new machines um, and how to use them and um, best sellers and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So those two weeks, June 23rd and 30th, are going to be more like a vendor kind of forum. Yeah. It's going to give yeah. give us an opportunity to really pick some minds of vendors and I'm stuff. Getting several comments that are very, people are very upset that you're off for the summer. Can you clarify the store will be open? Oh, uh. oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are going to be taking time off, just um, our Facebook Live. The store is going to be open as usual, um, but we're, you know, with vacation schedules and so on, it's kind of hard to do it every week. So we just decided after our June 30th um, session, we're going to take July and August off, just Facebook Live, and we will resume Facebook Live in September. But we will be here. Yes. We're going to be every here. Every day through the business summer. Business as usual. <laughs> yes. Business as usual. Uh, Absolutely, so, yes. absolutely. <laughs> no so, worries. <laughs> so, yeah, so just because, like, I'm off for a week, and then you're off for a week, yeah. and then I'm off for a couple of days, and yeah. you're off for a couple of days, right. it just made sense just to just, yeah. to hold off until we come back in September right. with the Facebook Live. Yeah. Um, but we will come back with something maybe new. We don't know we don't yet know. what yeah. we're going to do, but we'll come back with something. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think this format's been working out. I like this format. So yeah, we'll but see. you know me. I love yeah. to change things. Change yeah. is good, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right, All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Jenny. Thank you again. Thank you. And we will see you back on Wednesday, June 23rd. Thank thanks. you. Bye-bye.